Sarah's one of those students who just stood out from the beginning. Her aptitude, her attitude, her willingness to go above and beyond. She's just always been a star. I knew she was going to be a star when she was a sophomore and she's absolutely one of our stars in the School of Media and Strategic Communications. Sarah's one of those students who makes us proud, makes every professor proud, and is a good friend and a good steward for the School of Media and Strategic Communications, but she also is a great representative for OSU. She is one of our stars. She was chosen as the outstanding senior. She is going to set the world on fire. Go Sarah. OSU has prepared me for my future by really challenging, challenging me academically and um, making me grow as a leader because I know that it's, when it comes to the real world, it's not just about the textbooks and OSU has really prepared me for that. And um, I was told something that really rang true to me when I came to college and it was, this can either be the last four years of your childhood or the first four years of your adulthood. And OSU has really challenged me to see this as the first step to really becoming an adult and I've gotten so many opportunities to do different things that have made me more well-rounded and I feel very prepared to enter the real world. Graduating from OSU is so special because this is such a great university and it's been such a great four years. And I'm feeling bittersweet getting ready to leave because I've had so many experiences and made so many friends and met so many faculty members that have really mentored me. And I hope that OSU sees me as someone that I didn't just give a diploma to, I want to give back to the university as I get older. And I hope that I always will wear orange with pride. I know I will. So, and I hope that you're happy to claim me. Professor Gina Noble has really made an impact on me during my time at OSU because she's just an incredible woman. I've had two classes with her and I've TA'd for her for the last two years, so I've really gotten to know her. And she goes beyond um, just a teacher. She is a friend, she is a fantastic mother. She's actually running for city council. She's a great servant to the um, OSU community and the Stillwater community. And I really hope that someday I can um, achieve what she's achieved. And she's been such a great mentor to me during my time here. This photo was taken in Kailicha, South Africa. And uh, I had the opportunity to go with the School of Entrepreneurship uh, to South Africa for three months and I did business consulting work for two disadvantaged entrepreneurs and one day I got to go um, play with some children who are actually orphaned. Um, a lot of them have AIDS and uh, so this is my friend Christine and Christine was in uh, the group that I was in doing business consulting work and she's from Colorado and we've stayed really good friends. It was a really special experience and I'm grateful that I got to go and serve. This picture was taken um, at a basketball game. I was a spur for two years and college basketball has always been really important to me. So uh, I got to go to all the games as a spur and I got to learn about kind of the basketball traditions at OSU because I grew up in Lawrence, Kansas. So I'm so used to Jayhawk basketball and I'm such a big, um, OSU fan now and this picture was taken uh, at my final homecoming and it's my dad and my mom and they got to see homecoming for the first time my final year and homecoming isn't really um, I had never really seen it before I came to OSU and I think it's such a neat tradition and I got to serve on homecoming steering for two years and write for the publication and I absolutely loved that experience and homecoming is such a special event and um, I was really grateful that I got to do that.